Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is a quick little gossip chat or just things going on in the world. It's some foolishness, some seriousness, and some I don't know what. Miss okay, but we're gonna get into it all. But y'all know first things first. If you have not done so already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel to become a whole J Bird, J Bird, dun 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 dun, and all that goodness and stuff. Y'all know to subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my secondary channel, JV's Corn Talk. The link to that is in the description box below. You know, I want you all to make sure to like this video. Comment in the comment section. Hit that share button to share on your social media. You can always relax and relate and release. Send to yourself and everyone around you. And always inhale and exhale because it just feels good or whatever, okay? Y'all can also follow me on social media on IG. It is J underscore Lee's underscore corner. On Twitter, it is J Lee's corner. And y'all know to like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Now, it is 2 a.m., okay? Y'all don't get this sometime Sunday morning, but it's 2 a.m. here. So, don't judge me because I'm my favorite sweatshirt. What's on my sweatshirt? Favorite sweatshirt because, again, it's 2 a.m. Um, but let's get into these things around here okay i want to start with meg and tory okay there have been so many things going on with meg and tory since the whole shooting that happened i think it was last year this was one yes it's 2020 um and we've been waiting for a trial for a court date for something to move forward and it seems like tory's legal team and the prosecutor the defense or whoever is saying that they are close to possibly having a plea deal for him so that he may not have to do jail time. And I'm like, really? Really? But it's that they're having meaningful conversations with Meg lawyers about a potential plea deal. This is per the Jasmine brand as of September 24th, which was two days ago, as we know. Now, he was accused of shooting on the foot, okay? We know that for a fact. Okay. Bang, bang, in the foot. We have all been very upset about that for a long time. Some folks believe Meg. Some folks believe Tori. At the end of the day, none of us still exactly know what happened that night. Okay? I think that's why most of us wanted a court date to see if anything could come to light. But if right now, if they are trying to focus on, you know, a possible plea deal, Okay, and all they said was it was a recent report. LA County, LA County Deputy District Attorney Kathy Tay said we're in possible settlement discussions. Okay, now Tory Lane defense attorney Sean Holly or Haley H O L L E Y acknowledged the situation by saying, as in every case, the lawyers for the party discuss the possibility of resolving the case. This case is no different. That said, our position as to what did and did not happen in this manner remains unchanged and plea of not guilty stands meaning yes i may want a plea deal but i'm still saying i didn't do what i was accused of however i do not want to go to jail so if i can avoid jail time but still take some kind of accountability for something that happened i'll do that now this happens a lot Okay, people plead down, plead down, because sometimes when you go to court, court, things may not go in your favor. And that could be for the prosecution or the defense. Man could, you know, want this to go to court and then they can find him, they can find him not guilty and then nothing really happens. So sometimes a plea deal is so that at least everyone gets something out the deal. He could avoid jail time and she can avoid him not being held accountable at all. Um, I want him to go to jail a little bit, only because he gets on my nerves a little bit, because I still feel like that man pow pow her in the foot, and he just do not want to admit it. But I also feel like Meg could possibly just want to move on, because don't forget, she did not want to talk about it at all in the first place. Okay, she only came up, came, uh, spoke about it because he kept, as she said, she kept fucking with her. Okay, doing a little sneaky, sn uh, snatty shit or whatever, on the sidelines or whatever. So she only spoke up because, again, he kept fucking with her. So I feel like anyone who did not even want to go to the police in the first place probably also does not want to keep dragging us along over a year later. 
Okay, damn near two years. Well, not two years, but yeah, oh, it's been over. It's like a year and a half at this point in time. So she may want to move on. She she's not dead. Her career is still popping. She got a whole new man. And sometimes you don't want to go deep down into the jungle of the dirt. Okay, to drudge up things that happen that you've already moved past. But you also want him to be held accountable. So again, the plea deal may be good on both parts. I don't know. Now, Tory Lane was also being accused. I think it's like I don't I don't want to say I don't know because he posted how he you know put up and said it's been real and then deleted his page. And they were saying that he was accused of like some other kind of incident. I can't find the notes about it, so I don't want to bring it up, but I don't think that had anything to do with the Megan stuff. I think it was some other thing he was accused of, but we're gonna leave that be. But we're gonna hope this gets settled some kind of way because it. It was all over the news. It was all we talked about for so long. And I'm like, yes, let's all move on from this. Okay. But again, I still want that little man to go to jail. Anyway, let's get off of him. Let's get to Nene Leaks. Okay. And Stormy Daniels. Okay. Who was Stormy Daniels? Who? Girl. I don't know, but I know. So Stormy Daniels Bell right here, she is like a motivate a motivational speaker. She holds seminars or whatever. She just like she holds those luncheons and those brunches for folks when they come to get enlightened, you know, by being you know that stuff is what she do. Now, I've always looked at her as a shysty person because they say she was holding these seminars, getting these folks monies, but wasn't really doing anything per se, okay? However, her and Nene are at least familiar with each other because and that's what it is. So Stormy was at an event, okay, but she also threw an event, okay? So she posted this on her social media, so many days. She put up, you know, pillow talk has now begun, okay? And we see she's in on the little couch, okay, in some pajamas, having conversation. You see Nene commented with the laughing emojis, you know, girl, you are funny to me. Ha, 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 ha. Now, why would Nene say, you know, Stormy's funny to her? Why would she say that on Stormy's post about pillow talk has now begun? Now, Stormy, on her social media. Um, can I pull up her IG real quick? Let me see if I can do it. Because she had a whole bunch of little IG posts and stuff. I'm going to try to cut the music off because it was some music going in. I don't want that in my life because they were trying to take the people's stuff down. Um, okay. So, yeah, she was on. It was an event she had. Y'all may hear the clicking, but it's going to be. Um, she had a little event. Okay, and she did call it Pillow Talk. However, the look of it all looked familiar. Okay, girl, to me, I could, girl, there's so many things to, to skip past and go back from. I don't know what to do because it's the whole thing. She got Diana from, um, oh, she may have taken it all down. Let's see, did she take it all down or was it over? Oh, yeah, it was gone. Now I clicked, I clicked for no damn reason. Start with all them clicks. But she had an event <laughs> at her thing. And it was the pillow talk stuff. Okay, so the reason Nene was up in arms a little bit, or at least Nene was saying, you funny to me. Well, because if y'all remember back on season six of the Housewives of Atlanta, Nene had the first ever pillow talk. Okay, when the people come together, you're dressed in like little lingerie, look comfy around the households or whatever, and couples have conversations about things that you talk about, well, I said no on pillows. That's when Candy was fussing with everybody, whatever. That's when Apollo was fussing with all. A lot happened in this season and this episode. This is one of the most memorable episodes. It's the pillow talk episode, okay? So Nene was saying, oh, Pillow talk has now begun. You having a pillow talk session. Oh, you are funny to me because I've done that. So not only did Nene do that, you know, back then on season six, it was her idea. She had her own event, okay, called Pillow Talk. So Nene posted this on her social media saying, you know, Pillow Talk, the flattery of it all, okay? She also posted a, another photo of herself saying the creator of Pillow Talk because, again, back in season six, she had pillow talk, and not only that, if you see the app, the, the, the first one right here, this one, wait, girl, this right here, girl, wait, this right here, the person in white next to Nene, that is Stormy Daniel. So, Stormy Daniel was at Nene's 
Pillow Talk event previously. Okay, previously, you know, we see Stormy Daniels is in the white. We see Jennifer Williams, who's next to Nene in the, in the red. So Nene had this exact same event that she threw, which is why she's saying, one, she's a creator, and two, the flattery of it all. Because again, Pillow Talk has now begun, but Nene had already done that. Okay, she did it. She did, she did it back then, and she did it at this point in time too here. Now, when Stormy got word of Nene saying the flattery of it all, meaning you stole my shit because I created that, okay? That is my pillow talk is something I came up with, and now you're trying to steal it. You're a stealer, okay? And I told y'all, Stormy Daniels has always been a little bit shysty to me. So Stormy got word of Nene saying things, and at an event, which I believe was like women's empowerment and, 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 and positivity, Stormy Daniels said this. Now listen up. It's going to play twice to this pad. Listen to what she said about Nene calling herself the creator of this. And she's implying that Stormy is the whole stealer and stole her idea. Listen up. I'm trying to act like somebody took something from you when Pillow Talk is a common name. Now that's what I want to do. If I took your name, sue me. Now, what's next? Stole it. Now the rest of the video was the DJ play um some songs. You see the crowd hyper her up. Okay, and he was playing you know, uh fucked on the niggas, I'm not for niggas. What who was that? Is that C Murder? I can't think. I think it's C Murder song, if I'm not mistaken. That doesn't matter. The point is, Stormy Daniels was up and getting geeked up, saying, if you think I stole your idea, then sue me. Because pillow talk is a general term. That may be true. That may be true. However, you stole her concept with the whole pinkness of it all, the whole pajamas of it all. It looks exactly like what Nene did back then, what she did recently. Before you, you went to her event. You went to her event. You know how you know how pissed off I would be if somebody out the blue, you know, we is we are the old, the ooh ladies first panel. Okay, if somebody came out with the ooh men first men's first panel, you all still an MC. People have to not copy what they see. No one holds the, the patent to people sitting around talking, but when you know somebody is always has already coined or had an event of that name. Why have your own event of that same name in the same realm of what Nene did? When you were there, ma'am, you were there. You were right here next to Nene at her pillow talk event, and you then tried to have your own. So if you try to make it seem as if Nene is tripping, no, it is you. Okay, Stormy Daniels is a stealer. But again, I'm pretty sure Nene don't need to go back and forth. Now, I don't know if she will because she ain't said say anything back from Stormy saying, you know, sue me. I don't think Nene, Nene needs to sue her because, again, that whole trademarking thing, if Nene never trademarked Polar Talk, she doesn't own it. And it is a thing that, of someone owning it, but if you went to my event and, and it's what I did. Why would you do the exact same thing? That show that you shysty, that you sneaky, that you are snaky, okay? That you can't be trusted because, again, you'd rather someone sue you than you be original. You could have easily had an event where women come together and chit-chat and shit and not call it pillow talk. Because why? Nene had already did it. And then so did you. And then you were there. Okay, anyway, we'll see what happens with that as things go further. Now, lastly, let's get on Kelly Price. So, T.S. Madison posted last week. It was it was like seven, eight days ago. And she was like, has anybody seen Kelly Price? Can somebody ride around there and check on Kelly Price? Because we ain't heard from Kelly Price. And she said back in July that she had caught COVID. We had not heard, not had no hair of Kelly V. Price, okay? And so that was like almost six, seven, eight days ago that T.S. That, that Madison posted that. Well, 
yesterday, okay, we seen a missing, she was officially listed as a missing person, okay? And we was like, Kelly Price is missing? What is going on? Now, they were saying that she had checked out of a hospital um, in late August, no, in like mid-August. But her family had not heard from her since then, and no one knew where she was. So her family sent the police over to do a wellness check. The, the police said she wasn't there. They talked to her boyfriend, okay? And the boyfriend said, you know, she wasn't here, whatever. But again, so she was put on the official missing persons list of stuff around the world or whatever. So again, of course, y'all know all of us black folk who love us and Kelly Price. There is something that you must know. She was a friend of mine. We all love her, okay? So we was all like, what? Oh, my God, where is she? Where, where is she? Now, then a, an attorney for her came out and said, well, she's not missing. She is recovering from COVID at an undisclosed location, but she's okay. But her sister, her sister, her only living close brother to because her sister came on to the, I think the Larry Reed uh, YouTube live or whatever uh, yesterday and said, look, until the police and the national missing persons people say she's not missing, she's missing. Okay, we have not heard from her. We have not seen her. We until we lay eyes on her or someone of the authorities lay eyes on her, she's still missing. Okay, we don't care what that attorney said through a, through a statement. No, where's my sister? And she brought up how they lost a their younger sister six years ago. Their mom passed away in October of last year, either October or November, November of last year. And so it's just her and Kelly, you know, who are left. Kelly has two children who are like 29 and 27, a son and a daughter, who she had, you know, from previous relationships. I think her, I think from her ex-husband. Um, they don't know or hadn't talked to her initially or whatever. And the sister was saying, you know, me and her kids do not know where she is. We have not talked to her since she was in ICU again in around like August 12th. It is September 26th. Okay, it is September 26th. Kelly was last live, not live, but she did a video on IG on July 29th when she announced she had COVID. Okay, so she did a whole like four minute video saying how she had COVID. She's gonna get better, blah, blah, blah. That's the last anyone has heard from her. Now, even though another random person that posted, well, I talked to Kelly and she's fine, you know, she sounds weak, but I think she's going to get better. I'm like, who is you, lady? Who are you? And then Kelly Price's page reposted it. But again, someone from her page reposting don't mean shit. That just means somebody has access to her social media. I'm like, why can't she at least say something? Why can't her kids or her, her sister at least see her to know she's okay? And at first I thought maybe she is just, you know, recovering somewhere and she does not want to be bothered with her sister. But I'm like, what kind of person does not want their kids to know they're okay? Are you beefing out with your children? What's going on? Now, she posted this on July 5th. You know what I'm saying? When all else fails, he got me. Now, that was her boyfriend. That's a little boyfriend or whatever. Or so we thought. Okay. we She has never showed his face. She keeps him very much so private, which is fine, fine, fine. Um, However, uh, Layla Lynn, Layla, 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 Tells it all. Who y'all was a YouTuber? She did a video about it as well, and she was able to pull something up. Okay, make sure to go to Lady Lynn's page too. Now she put up Kelly and that man is married. Okay, this man right here, who she said when all else fails, he got me. Her and that man got married in November of 2020. Okay, November 1st, 2020. Lady Lynn was able to pull this up. Y'all yeah, see her little her little logo right there. And his name is either Daryl or Darrell Lynn Crump Jr. Okay, and Kelly Sherelle Price Crump. Because she changed her name. So she's actually married to that man. So he's technically not her boyfriend. He's her husband. Okay. And we also see that they got married like right after her mom passed away last year. So it's weird to me that not only is she missing of some sort but why does this husband not have more why is the attorney saying oh she okay i'm like if you her man you know you her person whatever what's going on with that now 
we also see Nikki Gilbert, you know, a brownstone who commented on social media. She did the live, I like put it up, but even she wrote up how we still haven't seen or heard from her. So while we are being told, oh, she's great, not great, but that she's not missing, she's recovering, let's still pray because again, no one who like really knows her has talked to her. Now I saw a post, I think it was Mia X who said that she had talked to Kelly Price. I do think it was Mia. Let me see. I think it was Mama Mia. Let me see. What's her name? I think it's like Mama Mia X. She had posted. I can't find it right now. I can't think where I saw it. But I'm for real. She posted how she had talked to her and she's okay. But for me, it's still weird. It's like the randomest people are saying they talk to her, but no one is really saying, well, why can't she speak for herself? But I'm like, is she in that bad a state? And if she is, I understand that they may not want the, the world to know that, but why can't her sister or children know that? I feel like if her and that man is married, he may be blocking the family from seeing her because he's now her official next to kin. The husband will trump the children. And if he say, well, no, they can't see her, that's what will go. So my thing is, what does this damn husband and this lawyer have to where they're not informing her, her, her sister and her children what is going on with their mama? So look, we still don't know if she's really missing, if she's really recovering somewhere in an unsclosed location or what is going on. All we know is her sister said, until we see her physically, Okay, we're gonna keep praying because we have not seen her, and I do think that's extremely weird. Um, even if you don't want your family in your business or whatever, I don't think it should be things where you were sick and then no one ever hears from you, whatever, and you're just over somewhere getting better. No, let somebody know, at least your children, if not your sister, at least the your son, your daughter should you know, your mama. Okay, you they mama. And the sister has done a couple of interviews to say how I want y'all to keep praying because we're hearing from these random people that she's okay, but she ain't called me her sister or call her children. The, it was only one repost that was on social media on her IG page, but she ain't said shit since July 29th. And she was apparently supposedly released from the hospital on like around August 12th. But it's September 26th right now. No, no. We need to thank look, we look call Mr. Biggs. We can't call R. Kelly because he's in prison. But again, call somebody because as we know, she is a friend of mine. Okay, she can live with my man. But we want to be sure that Kelly Price is okay. All joke aside, I don't ever understand when somebody just disappears and does not let their family know that they're alive. If she's recovering, that's great. If she does not want the public to know how she's doing, that's okay too. Let your family know. As the sister said, we are the, our last living relatives. You know what I'm saying? We are a small, small family, and I just want to know where my sister is and that she's okay. And that's it. So I wish somebody would let us all know. Okay. Anyway, that's all I have for y'all today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will have other videos up. So if you, have, if you go to my channel and look, there's probably other things for y'all to watch. Either that's on right now or that will be up later. Okay. Anyway, like this video, comment in the comment section, and share it as well. And I will talk to y'all later. Be good. I will see you when I see you. Peace.